So we got pie and pie here. The life of pie. It ain't a life of pie, but it's just such a coincidence to how we have shepherd's pie and then mini pies. Every single day. way as you can tell by the title I am making shepherd's pie so I made a shepherd's pie a while back a while back means I can't remember when but these are my ingredients I have some potatoes here which I'm gonna peel dice and um, get them boiled and I have some Italian sausage some ground turkey 85% lean, 15% fat. I have I chose Mexican cheddar jack. Then I'm gonna add some olives in there. So these are um, just olives with the um, pimento in there. And I have some tomato paste. Okay, we're gonna get started. I started on putting these potatoes, but they starting to sprout, y'all, with these little bullets stuff on them. They still good, though. Get them peeled. I'm going to get these potatoes diced up, y'all. The smaller, the quicker they... What is it called? The smaller, the smaller you chop them, the, the quicker they... The faster they cook. Yeah, making mashed potatoes from scratch. Right. Doing the mashed potatoes from scratch, y'all. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get them here and get them boiling. I'm gonna add a little salt to this. And I got the stove on number eight. Everybody's stove cooked a little different. This is a GNC, GNC? General Electric stove. G. Meantime, we're gonna get started on this the meat. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a little olive oil. I ain't even turn my stove on. In the meantime, we're gonna start off with a little virgin, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, uh, not too much. That should be enough. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not gonna add a whole lot, but. Of the um, I'm not gonna add a lot of the Italian sausage. <laughs> yep. Let me close this before I hit my head. I hit my head the other day. I say you had a headache the other day. Yeah, but it ain't from hitting my head on it. I don't know what. I don't know what happened. That's all I'm going to use, just half. I'm get this all ground up. Ground up. I use turkey, y'all. I don't use beef. Beef stays in your system three to four days when turkey stay one to two days. If you didn't know. So, yeah. I'm just going to ground this up. It all cooked up real good. So I'm gonna add this much tomato paste. I ain't sure how much it's supposed to go in there. But that's what I'm gonna put in there. I'm put that much. Right? Y'all know I never cook with tomato paste. Why? I don't know, I just never did. Okay, I'm going to start adding my seasonings. Okay. I'm going 
Some black pepper, sasson, sasson. I had one pack, accent, uh, I don't know what else to add to this. Oh, I'm gonna add some um, brown cumin. Okay. And I'm gonna add some adobo. Because I'm adding olives. So I'm making it like a, a pique de gallo. Wow, that smells good. Right, yeah, I'm sorry, just push it in my ear. That's what she said? Yeah. Get y'all some non stick pans. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Y'all see how that? Y'all don't even see how that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at the pan. Easy to clean. Ooh, wee. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my my olives. Whoa! Pour some of that water. I don't think I'm gonna add them all in there. Some of that olive juice can go in there too. It'll be all right. Ain't gonna hurt. Your hands with. Oh boy, that's gonna be delicious, y'all. That look good. Huh. That smells good too. Yeah, it smells good. So we we'll let these potatoes, I'm gonna let them cook, y'all. I'm gonna turn this down because it's pretty much ready. Let me see what this tastes like. Wow, that's good. So now the potatoes have, how you say? Got soft. softened. Yeah, they softened up. So what, I left a little bit of that water in there, but just like mashed potatoes, you know, you're gonna add a little milk. Oh man. I was drunk. Oh, that last little bit of milk I drunk. Should I add some muscle milk in you? Oh man, we we'll get we'll be all strong then, huh? <laughs> it's okay. I got some butter right here. Got some butter. I'm gonna add some. About that much butter in there. Y'all, I don't have no potato mashing. Look at me. Look at me though. But I tell y'all what do work. If you don't have a potato masher, this'll work. Just like that. This helped break them up too. I ain't got no milk. I sure thought I had some left. So I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna season up my mashed potatoes, okay? With a little accent. A little salt. Yeah, I know I don't use a whole lot of salt, but I'm using it today. A little salt. A little black pepper. Okay, I gotta get some sour cream. Some 
sour cream in it. Oh, the sour cream thick, y'all. I'm gonna add about that much sour cream. I just decided to put that in there. Nah, just hoping it get creamy. That's all. Oh, it's so thick. All right, it's coming along, y'all. I have some water. Oh, some yeah. down the eye. Huh? It's okay, cause it's off. But okay. I gotta make sure these are all smashed, smashed up good. All right, enough of that. I'm kind of smashing it with my um, spatula too. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it on these mashed potatoes, y'all. Let me taste them, see if they are right. Mm. Mm. Not bad, pretty good. Good. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that on there, just like so, and just spread it out, make sure it's even. We're going to put our mashed potatoes right on top. That looks good, don't it, y'all? Well, so far. <laughs> Everybody make things different, so no, there's no right or wrong way when it comes to cooking. That's how I look at cooking. Okay, I just want to make sure that's all. How you say? Covered? Okay. You say covered. Then I'm got got my cheese here, which is my Mexican blend. <coughs> I chose Mexican blend because I use olives, and the olives with the what is it called? Olives with the the meat and the seasons that I use is more like in a Spanish way. I love Spanish food, y'all. What? Spanish food is my favorite, absolute favorite foods. I'm trying to come up with a trivia question for y'all. Yeah, what is y'all favorite food? Comment down below. I want to know. And this is it, y'all. I have the oven on 350. And we're going to get that thing baking. About 30 minutes, I'm ready. Go to the cheese milk, get brown, ready. Y'all, I'm making dessert too. They're like mini berry pies. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna make it. And these are the ingredients that I'm using for it. So I am using the Pillsbury pie crust. There's two pie crusts that comes in here that's rolled up just like this. I've already um, rolled out one. Um, cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese, uh, regular eight ounce, and I have some simply fruit, seedless strawberry flavor. So that's the flavor I'm using. We're gonna get started on that now. Okay. So what we want to do is <clears throat> make about that size. So you're gonna use a regular coffee cup. Okay. And squeeze as many as you can out. I guess depending on how many you want. Ooh, y'all, I'm gonna make some more out of this dough. 
I wish I had a roller. By me not having a roller, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll, put this in a Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna put it in the freezer and use it at another time. Otherwise, I would roll this out and use it for this, but I can't. So in the meantime. I'm just cutting these in like little cubes. Okay. It don't have to be softened. Okay. I'm going to just cut it right down the middle. Like that. So, I don't know if that's too big, but it looked too big. Yeah, I think yeah, cut it in half. Just cut it in half. Like that? Yeah, like that. Okay. Alright. We got one more. Yep, this one's too big. Like that. Okay. So I'll put about that much. Okay, fall off. Anytime. There you go. I'm gonna put a little more. Okay. So I just got some water here. Put around the little edges. Just go around it. Put some just some water. Okay, put some water on that stuff. What movie that come from, y'all? Well, I mean, they said the other word. You better put some water on that ish. Trivia question. What movie that came from? Gotcha. So, I'm going to take this. You're going to just smash it down. Oops. It's okay if it come out. Just like that, y'all. Just like that, then you're going to take a fork and just go around the edges, okay? Just like that. This what helps it stay inside, okay? And then, oh, I got a little, I'm going to do this part. Hold on one second. I have some egg wash here with a little water. That's all you want to do. I mean, I'm going to tell them the... It's one egg, okay. And a teaspoon of water. And a teaspoon of water. You just brush it on. I don't have no brush, y'all, so, you know. As y'all can tell, I'm using what I got, right? Okay. And then I have this knife. Just make a little cross. Okay? Just like that. And we're going to bake those in the oven for 20 minutes on 400 degrees. Okay? And I'll be back to show y'all the rest. So I just rolled out the next one. And I just realized... We're only gonna have four. I need a rolling pin. Okay, again. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Can't make another one, Lord. Twist, twist, twist. Oh, I did. Look. I'm gonna make it work. Like I said, I'm just gonna save the rest of my dough until I get a rolling pin and I'm gonna make something else with this. If these are good enough, because this is my first time trying it, if these are good enough, then I'll come back with the dough and a rolling pin and make some more. So, yep. That's brown enough. Well, that's toasty enough. So 
So that's our shepherd's pie. I turned the oven up to 400. And I'm going to get these in the oven. Okay. Now don't pick at my platter. I know it's Christmas on here, but it is what it is. Oh, Lord. For a second, I thought you was gonna put that in the oven. I'm about to say, hey. no. So I'm gonna spray my pan with some Pam, just so it don't stick. Because I don't have any uh, parchment paper. Parchment paper, I don't have any. <clears throat> so we're gonna put those on here. But I'm gonna rinse this off first. Dang, y'all only got four of these out of the um. So we only got four out of that. Two. Three. Four and a half, okay? I was able to get one more out of that little thing. So I just fold it. Okay? So I'm gonna put that in. Fifteen to twenty minutes. What the time is that? Three, th three thirty-two. All right, it's time. Look at that, y'all. Some of it seeped out, but that's okay. It could still be edible. We're gonna let that cool off because if you try to put that in your mouth, man, you're gonna be like Martin off a long life when he ate, he that, ate that, that, that apple pie. That was <laughs> <laughs> that was too funny. Hey y'all, um, it's so funny. We thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit the bell to be notified. If you're new to our channel and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. Um, so we got pie and pie here. The life of pie. It ain't a life of pie, but it's just such a coincidence to how we have shepherd's pie and then mini pies. Um, don't forget our trivia question, which was, put some water on that ish. What movie that come from? I know y'all know that. Thank y'all for watching. We love y'all. Bye.